Middlesex back in front after Bamba Pfeiffer. Lewis Deploy hit 90 to show some resistance to Middlesex's impressive display with the ball, but even he couldn't prevent the hosts from taking the reins. Derbyshire 79 behind with just one wicket left at the start of day three. And their return to the middle will be brief. Connors found the boundary early, clipping one off his pads, but when he tried to repeat the shot, he could only find Anderson to hand Bamba his fifth of the innings. Deploy and Dahl had done what they could to drag Middlesex to within touching distance, but ultimately Bamba and Murta had ploughed their way through the Derbyshire order. Each man deserved a fifer, but it was the 22-year-old who picked it up, finishing with 5 for 41. But once again, when Middlesex strode out to the middle, their innings got off to a horror start. Definitely not the beginning to his career north of the river Mark Stoneman would have dreamt of. A pair on debut, as he left one from Connors onto his off stump for a golden duck. Eskenazi stuck with Robson long enough to restore the lead to 100 runs, but he too would fall to Connors, caught at point for 23 by Dahl. Robbie White wouldn't be able to replicate his first innings ton, out for a 10-ball duck, caught behind off Aitchison. Max Holden stuck with Robson, Derbyshire denied now, and the Middlesex opener took advantage. 50 runs notched off 55 balls, the hosts were putting their foot down. The approach saw the fourth wicket worth 50 off just 46 balls, the lead now knocking on the door of 200. It would be 50 and out for Robson though, bold as he came down the track to the spin of Alex Thompson. Anderson joined Holden at the crease, and the pair took the lead up to 200 before lunch, unbeaten at the break. Holden was on course to follow Robson to 50, but Thompson denied him the opportunity, out court for 44. The lead moved beyond 250 under the watch of Simpson and Anderson, but the keeper couldn't contribute much more than that, caught behind off Dahl for 12. Like Holden before him, Anderson's knock was brought to an end in the 40s, LBW for 42, another for Dahl, who got one to move back up the famous Lord's Slope. Bamba's stay was brief, five balls produced one run before he was caught behind off Critchley. Tilan Walalawita wouldn't be too far behind him, his innings producing 12 off 13 before he tried to be a bit too cute with the spin of Thompson. Murtar and Roland Jones proved to be a thorn in Derbyshire's side. They saw the lead up to 300 before the break, Middlesex now back on top and in the driving seat. And to rub salt in the wound, the 10th wicket partnership went to 50 before the break, tailenders taking the game away from Derbyshire. They finally stopped them, Murtar the one to go, a simple catch handed to Dahl from Aitchison, but the job had been done by the number 11. The visitors had manufactured the opportunities to put their hosts under pressure, but resilience from the middle and lower order had restored Middlesex's advantage, which would be 333 heading into Derbyshire's second innings. A bit of Tim Murtar magic early on made the visitors' task all the more difficult. Reese out, caught behind for a duck. A brief spell off the field for bad light saw Derbyshire shake out the cobwebs, and Godalman and Wood held firm when they returned. Middlesex denied further progress. They put on a decent and even partnership, 42 on the board when play was finally brought to a close. The maths on day four will be simple. Middlesex need nine more wickets for victory. Derbyshire, 292 runs, although some quick scouts in the morning could see the visitors try and see the day out for a draw. But one way or another, it's set to be a fascinating final three sessions at Lord's.